Good morning, everyone. Okay, uh, I'm pleased to, to be here with you today. I present the uh, report of meteor shower using worldwide radio meteor observations. Okay, let me just start by introducing myself. My name is Hiroshi Ogawa. Uh, 20 years ago, I participated in IMC 2003 in Germany. I was a college student at that time. And now uh, I am an office worker. So uh, today I am going to talk about the results by using uh, worldwide radio meet observations. The agenda is as follows. Okay, I would like to start uh, by talking about IPRMO. As, as you know, all radio meter observation is possible to observe even if in daytime uh, and uh, bad weather, and uh, not sleepy, not cold, and not hungry. Uh, besides, worldwide network uh, solves the radiant problem because it is possible to integrate data at each region. So radio meter observation and uh, radio meter observation and worldwide become possible to know a whole meteor shower activity. I organized the IPRMO, International Project for Radio Meter Observation, uh, uh, Radio Meter Observation uh, organized. It succeeded in analysis a lot of meteor shower activities. Uh, worldwide data were provided uh, by Radio Meter Observation Britain and uh, Japanese data were provided by an original network in Japan. It, it is organized by myself in 2000. Uh, when I worldwide data, uh, it is very difficult to collect um, using frequency equipment uh, and location at each site. So we adopt relative value named activity level index. This is introduced in the handbook for meteor observations published by IMO. Uh, this, this is a, a number of echoes at observing station, and this is a sporadic uh, uh, meteor uh, echoes. So it's, it's uh, lead to difference between observed hourly late and sporadic hourly late. This is a number of hourly uh, average during the day. So this formula means how many times oh. more active than usual activity level. <laughs> Using activity level, IPL more try to uh, catching a whole meter shower activity, detecting an outburst activity, and analyzing an annual variation. IPRMO has accumulated a lot of data since 2001. As a result, we captured an annual variation, past average, 10 years average, and five years average. IPRMO analyzed a lot of meteor showers, such as uh, major meteor showers, outburst, and daytime meteor showers. Uh, in this presentation, I introduce some example of each. First, IPRMO called PERSAID activity using worldwide data uh, every year. In 2001, as you know, an expected peak was uh, observed in America. Although it is daytime in Europe and Japan, IPRMO succeeded uh, catching this activity. And in this year, uh, it has a possibility that small activity is showed at near solar longitude. Like this, IPR makes clear a whole meter shower activity by using worldwide data. Uh, this is one example of outburst meter shower. This figure shows the result of uh, 451 CM in this year. 
the number of used data 41 in 11 countries. The prediction was here. The outburst peak was a little earlier than expected. And this is 061th. Uh, the main peak was observed uh, at the predicted time. And it seems that uh, some unexpected peaks occurred before main peak. As an example of long-term study, uh, this figure shows the characteristics of daytime meteor shower uh, 221DSX. For the period uh, 2005 to 2021, the peaks was occurred at 188.8 degree. This result is later uh, than IMO calendar, but it, it is similar to those of uh, recent studies. IPRMO con will continue to observe and analyze 221DSX. Uh, finally, I present an example of annual variation. These figures show the change of gemis. This is past average, the 10 years average, and the five years average. You can see that activity level, level is increasing every year, and ascending branch is longer than descending branch. IPRMO will continue to observe this change. Okay, let me wrap up my presentation. So today I took the results of analyzing by using worldwide radio meter observation. IPRMO makes clear meter shower activity and characteristics. The results uh, I have introduced, to, to, introduced today is only one part. You can see more results in proceeding of this conference or a future WGN. In the future, I will continue to analyze meteor shower activity and study long-term analysis using worldwide radio meter observations. Uh, finally, I would like to thank uh, worldwide radio meter uh, observers. That brings me to the end of the presentation. Thank you for your attention.